I can't recommend getting a top mounted microphone enough. The price point that you're looking at for a little microphone like this, I think it's absolutely fantastic. I was pretty impressed. I wasn't sure what to expect. I never am with some of these lower end microphones because I've actually tested some pretty crummy ones, but this is pretty stellar. <laughs> Compared to even some of the competitors in the market like the Deity and the Rode mic, um, this guy is the build from the build quality to the battery life to the frequency response and what you're actually getting from it. Um, I couldn't be more impressed for the price point. This definitely has a win, a buy from me. Again, some things to be aware of, the low end, really nice low end response. But as a part of that, one of the things you wanna watch out for is the delivery format and whether or not you're gonna have time to do post-production on the audio. Because if you don't have time to do post-production on the audio, then you might wanna use that low cut filter. So if you don't have a camera that supports something like an XLR input on the top, and you don't wanna be lugging around an H6 like I have currently on the top of my A7S III, you're probably gonna be looking for something like a Rode VideoMic Pro or a Rode VideoMic Go or something like the Comica VM20, which is a top mounted microphone and really quite honestly, a pretty impressive little guy.